multiplying complex numbers using the box strategy. The numbers we'll be multiplying in example one are one plus three i times five minus two i. We are multiplying two complex numbers together. And we'll use this strategy that should be familiar to you. And we'll write the first factor along the side and the second factor along the top. And we'll multiply five times one to get five in this cell. One times negative two i to get negative two i. 5 times 3i is 15i. Positive 3i times negative 2i is negative 6i squared. Notice along the diagonal we have common or like terms because they're the terms involving i, the imaginary part of the numbers. So we can combine them together. 15i minus 2i is 13i. So now my product looks like this so far. But I noticed that negative 6i squared can be simplified because i squared is negative 1. Negative 6 times negative 1 is 6. So I can rewrite my product by combining my like terms, my real part. I have 11 plus 13i. So when I look at my box and I try to make sense of my product, in comparison to the structure of the box, along this diagonal I actually have the light, the uh, real part of the complex number because negative 6i squared is positive 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. Along the other diagonal I have the imaginary part, so that's where my 11 plus 13i comes from. So we'll have another example multiplying Using the box strategy, 3 plus 2i times negative 1 minus 2i. And I'll multiply 3 times negative 1, and now 3 times negative 2i, negative 1 times positive 2i, and negative 2i times positive 2i here. Notice along the diagonal are the imaginary parts, so negative 6i minus 2i is negative 8i. And now I'm noticing negative 4i squared can be written as an integer because i squared is negative 1. So I have negative 3 plus 4 minus 8i or 1 minus 8i. So let's check the structure of our box make sure we can see where those pieces of our complex number came from. The real part of our product comes from this diagonal, negative 3 plus 4. And the imaginary part comes from this diagonal. So my product is 1 minus 8i. Now we have one more example, and this is a special case. And what's special about this is you'll notice that we have what looks like the difference of perfect squares when we used to do uh, x minus y times x plus y and we had a special polynomial product. Same thing with complex numbers. This will be a special product as well. 4 plus 3i can go along this side and 4 minus 3i along the top. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times negative 3i is negative 12i. In the lower left, we get positive 12i. Now you will notice that these i terms will cancel out. The imaginary parts will cancel. And on the lower right, we get negative 9i squared. So the imaginary parts cancel. We are left with 16 minus 9i squared, but i squared is negative 1. So I can simplify this product to be 25. So what we learn is when we have a plus bi times a minus bi, the imaginary terms will cancel because they're additive inverses. The real parts will combine to get one real number. In this case, 4 plus 3i times 4 minus 3i is the number 25.